Okay. So welcome, welcome, welcome. This is called Melanie On Demand. Um, so many of you have asked for private coaching. You've asked for support, for help. Um, and I just love doing this. This is one of my favorite things in the world to do is to just really get on the phone with people. Or in this occasion, we're going to be able to do it face to face, which is awesome. You don't have to get on a phone, a car or a plane. You can be in your pajamas, right? This is a waist up experience. We have no idea what's going on below the camera here. So don't worry. <laughs> and if you are joining me in the VIP room after this training, we're going to actually get into one-on-ones. So if you have a question, make sure you have a notepad or something that you can take notes because we've got a lot of great stuff to go through today. So the free training is in our group, in our Facebook group. This will be broadcast live. Now, y'all, I'm going to do this live every day for the next two weeks, okay, until tax day. I'm going to do it till April 15th. I might extend it for the whole month. We'll see how it goes. I've never done this before. And those of y'all, my clients, some of my clients that are on here, you guys know this is very, um, like we do weekly calls with our clients and, and you guys have that visibility with me. But some of you that haven't worked with us before, you may not really know much about me or my background or my company. I am the founder of Defining Moments. Um, we are a book publishing company. We are a mentorship company. So we actually help people find a mentor if they need help with anything in their life, in their business, um, in their personal growth. And we also teach people how to become a mentor, to build a coaching or consulting business, monetizing their knowledge and funding their retirement based on specialty knowledge that you might have or some experience that you've overcome in your own life. So the, the point is, and this is the one big thing I want y'all to get today, is that your knowledge has value and people are willing to pay for it, right? That people are willing to pay for that knowledge. And so I want to take a second and just let you know what's happening. So today, as you guys are coming in, I'm trying to monitor my Facebook page. I'm trying to post things in here. So those of you that are in VIP, you already have the VIP link. In case you can't make it live, you can get the recordings. So for 30 bucks, for only 30 bucks, you can join VIP. All right, the trainings are free. You can join for free and watch everything you want for free in the Facebook group. But if you want to join us in VIP, we'll send you a private Zoom link. It's not too late to do it today. I'm going to put that in the Facebook chat here real quick in on this page. Let me just do that. And um, that one's only 30 bucks. And that is for the entire time of coaching, right? So for the next two weeks, you're going to get me every day. Now, I'm not going to do it on Sundays. We're doing it today. I know it's April Fool's Day, but this is not a joke, okay? I'm really doing this. I had so many people that said, wait, are, is this an April Fool's joke? You're really doing free training for two weeks? Are you nuts? So maybe I am. I haven't figured that out yet. But what I want to do is serve you and be as transparent as humanly possible about everything that's going on in my business what I've learned the hard way, the expensive way, the stupid way. Like, I don't want y'all to make the same mistakes that I've made by any means. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty crazy. So what I want to do is um, say, again, quick welcome to our VIPs. I'm going to try to post this in the Facebook group. Let me see if I can just do it from my phone real quick. And I'm going to give you guys a link if you are interested in um, joining our VIP club. Let me just put that in the link right here real quick. We are broadcasting live. Um, let's see. Just trying to make sure I can see you guys in this, this group. One second, just make sure we're in there. Okay. All right. All right. There we are. Okay. There's me looking at the page, trying to figure it out. Okay. So I'm going to put this in the chat. Okay. This is. Okay. So I'm going to put this, this in is the, the chat. Okay. This is. Phone. See, I'm blonde. You don't have to be a tech wizard to do this. <laughs> okay, so I just listed in the Facebook chat. If you're watching this on Facebook, you can join our VIP. It's only 30 bucks. If you're an existing client, this is part of your extra bonus package. So if you have not joined our Facebook page yet and you're watching this back in a replay, make sure you join the Facebook page so that you can watch these trainings for free every day. If you want to join as a VIP, 
you can come into the private room with us here and we're going to do some one-on-one -on -one hot seat coaching right after the training today and every day. So you can, if you have something, a challenge that you're going, you have going on in your life, your business, something you need some growth with, right? What I want you to think about is a target. And today we're going to talk about 50 different ways that you can make money in the next seven days. Now, everybody I know on this planet wants to make more money. Everybody. I don't care if it's Elon Musk or if it is somebody who just started a business yesterday and needs more clients, somebody who's thinking about starting a business, somebody that's working at a job and you want to make more money. One of the challenges of working at a job is that you're trading dollars for hours. Um, it's funny, my son is Cole is realizing this as a young adult. Um, he did something working with me and made six hundred and fifty dollars uh, and in one hour. And and then he was also applying to work at Starbucks. So he realized I could make that in a week working at Starbucks and giving up 40 hours or I could do it in an hour as an entrepreneur and take ownership of my own business. Now, when you want to launch a business or when you have a business and you want to grow your business, if there's a part of your company um, maybe you're an author or a speaker or a coach and you're trying to get more clients or sell more books or book more speaking stages. OK, I've done all of those things and I've done them the hard way, the stupid way and the expensive way. And I'm trying to teach you guys what not to do. I could literally create a book and a whole program on what not to do, which isn't going to be very productive. So what I'd rather do is streamline the things that I learned and take all of that experience and squeeze the juice out of it and really give you all what you need today, okay? So this is gonna be a lot of fun. So grab a piece of paper, this is interactive. I'm gonna be watching for your comments in the Facebook page as well. And Cole's gonna be in there. Uh, Cole is my son, he's actually working with me. He's here today, he's gonna be watching the Facebook group. He's also watching the VIPs, he's juggling, he's juggling, and he's trying to help make sure everybody gets in the page okay. If you have a question, you can post it in the chat. My VIPs, you can post a question in the chat here, I can see that. If you're on Facebook, you can post it in the Facebook chat. So first of all, I want to get to know you all a little bit better. I want to know a little bit more about you. So will you do me a favor and just put in the chat what you do? right? What's your primary source of income? Are you working somewhere? Are you a coach? Are you an author? Are you a speaker? What do you identify with as a career choice? Uh, so I'll give you a second to do that. Okay. I'm seeing a few. Okay. Author. Okay. Awesome. Very cool. Okay. So we're going to give you a lot of resources based on who's in the room, right? There's a lot of different opportunities and things that you can do right away. So I want to make sure I'm speaking to the right tribe of people. Like, I don't want to give you advice on something that's not going to be relevant to anybody here. So that helps me really understand. So a lot of you, it looks like you're solopreneurs. Maybe you have a small business. Maybe you're an author, speaker, coach, realtor. Um, maybe you have a small team. Um, and maybe your sales are under a million dollars a year, I'm assuming. Now, if some of you, if you want to put in the chat, if you are doing over a million, you can put million, okay? That's going to help me speak to you in a different way than I would to everybody else. Because when you're starting a business or growing a business, what happens is usually in that first one hundred dollars to $300,000, people start to get a little bit more cocky and confident and they start taking risks. And they start start spending a lot more, and it gets really hard to scale up to that million dollar a year mark. Now, I've done it many times. I know exactly what you have to do to make it happen, but most of you are still. It looks like entrepreneurs, solopreneurs. If you aren't making one hundred and fifty to two hundred thousand a year, I'm going to show you how to do that. But the cool thing to think about is this: if you're working somewhere and you're not making one hundred and fifty thousand a year, then it is the best time in the history of the world to ever be an entrepreneur and work for yourself. You're going to hear a lot about that word recession, right? And don't, don't buy into the fact that there's this recession going on, because if you work for yourself, you have control of your finances. You actually can go out and create income opportunities for yourself. That's the beautiful thing about it. And you can create multiple streams of income. So if one is down, another one is up. When you work for someone else, 
you're limited to one income source and you have one boss who can make or break your whole life. And that is stress. So some of you, you might be afraid of losing your job. My biggest fear would be getting a job because I've worked for myself since I was 18 years old. And that doesn't mean I'm not a good team player. I have to be a strong leader. I have to be a good team player. And I can tell you, I've made a lot of mistakes in that area as well. So everything that I tell you about or talk to you about today is 100% from my experience. Nothing is my opinion. I don't value giving people my opinion ever. Even when someone says to me, hey, will you read my book? What do you think of my cover? I'll give you my opinion, but guess what? One opinion doesn't matter. When you are building something, you need collaboration. You need your ideal audience to give you their opinion. So when we have authors, for example, writing a book, I'll have them go test it out and go try different things. So you don't, it, it's like you don't, you don't have that pressure of just trying to figure out one thing. Okay. So let me get to it. I know we got a lot of content to go over. I'm going to try to keep this as short as I can. And then you VIPs stay on after the training and we will go into our own um, uh, presentation of like all the cool things that are happening. Okay. So we're going to go through that a little later. And then if you happen to miss it live, you can pay for the VIP upgrade. It's only 30 bucks. That's for the whole time for the, the next two weeks to come into the VIP room, get some one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, meet some of our other clients and people that are doing some pretty amazing things. In fact, I saw Tanya McCready said a shout out on our page today. Thank you, Tanya. I can't wait to share her story with y'all. Oh my gosh. She has an eight figure business, eight figures. Do you get, does someone even know what I'm talking about when I say eight figures? Let me just clarify. Six figures means six numbers, right? That's a hundred thousand dollars or more. Okay. That's where most of you probably want to be, or should be at least at this stage in your life. Okay. Seven figures would be 1 million, right? So one to eight or 9 million, that's seven figures. So eight figures is 10 million plus. 10 million plus. How many of you would love to be there? Say me. <laughs> Who wants to join the Millionaire Club? Well, I'll tell you, it's not as hard as you think. In fact, it's much more difficult to get out of survival mode and get into just surviving. That gap is way bigger than the gap of just making a million and scaling to five or making 300 and scaling to a million. Right, Because once you get one client, two or three clients, now you know you can do it. The same way if you write one book, then you already know how to do it and you don't have any fear and you get out of your own way and you go write multiple books or any of you that have started multiple businesses. Right, I started a business and I had it for 20 years and then 08 hit and I lost everything. And I mean everything. My whole life blew up on me and I had to start all over. And it was really really stressful. Um, and I had, I, 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 I ended up getting divorced. I went through bankruptcy foreclosure. I had tax audits. I went to tax court. I had to defend myself in federal tax court. And guess what? They conceded on all charges and I won. Now I don't talk about that out there publicly because the IRS is not like that. <laughs> they don't like to lose. They don't like to say, Hey, this person like took us to court and won. Okay. So I tell you guys, because every day I talk to people that are stressed out about taxes. And this is why I'm so excited about doing this training today and why I'm doing it through April 15th, because I want you to make more money. I want you to pay taxes. I want you to pay so many taxes because you've influenced and impacted so many people that your taxes and what you pay is more than you made this year. How many of you would love to pay over $100,000 in taxes because it means you made a lot of money, right? So Oprah is so funny. I remember she said years ago to me, she was saying how she used to have to write, you know, when she would write out her check for her taxes, she would drink wine. Well, now her taxes are so high, she has to take a shot of tequila when, when she writes her tax check. <laughs> now, the other thing that happens is once you get over the million dollar a mark, a million dollar a year mark, you literally become a target, okay? All of a sudden, there's people who want to sue you. There's people who think the only way they're going to make money is to take it from you. Uh, I'm not saying that to sound negative or make you have these fears in your head. I'm just telling you that just because you start making money doesn't mean your problems go away, okay? That's naive. 
And in every one of these situations, the only thing that makes your outcome any better or different is your leadership. And so that's why I focus on leadership. I have a team of amazing people that have been with me for years and years and years. We recently had Lisa Scott, who joined our sales team, who worked for me over 20 years ago in one of my companies. That's the company that I ended up shutting down. And here she is all these years later coming back to join our team and work with us. And Amber, Amber has been with us for what, eight years now, I think. Um, and even my own kids, my daughter, Kyla, my son, Cole, they work with us periodically. Kyla is a professional actress. She does voiceover and I'm training her to do some audiobooks because we also are helping people do audiobooks now as well. So anyways, I don't want to get off track because we got a lot of com content to go over. I'm going to go through this quick, but I'd love for you guys to interact and engage with me. I am looking at the comments in here in Facebook as well. So feel free to put them in there. So what we're going to talk about right now is 50 different ways that you can make money in the next seven days. And I want you all to get out of your box and think more creatively. All right. So let's just see if we, how many you can come up with. We'll put them in the chat. Um, okay. So this is what I want to share with you. If you are, if you're an employee and you work for someone else, now some people may think, okay, start a lemonade stand or a GoFundMe. <laughs> I mean, how many of you as a teenager had a lemonade stand or as a kid, right? Maybe you, your future entrepreneurs that are watching. I did. I was a Girl Scout um, and I sold a lot of cookies. That's where I learned my sales skills because I wouldn't go, hey, do you want to buy any cookies? I'd say, how many do you want? I have limited boxes. How many do you want? Right. And that's the trick to everything is you have to have an end date, a runway for your offer and when it ends. Otherwise, if it's not urgent, people can do whatever they can just kind of click check out and not do anything. So let's say you work for somebody else and you have limited income and you're on a fixed salary and you need to make more money in the next seven days. Okay. One of the things you could do is you could sell something. If you, if you ever, if I ever questioned whether I have abundance in my life, Okay, if I feel start to feel a lack mentality, I just walk into my garage. <laughs> Y'all feeling me? I walk into my garage and I look at what's happening in my garage and go, I am living in abundance. Okay, I don't have any scarcity in this garage. So my challenge is time and going through all that stuff and saying, what in the world can I get rid of? Because there's something that somebody else could want. So you can take something that you no longer need and you can sell it. You can sell it on offer up. You could sell it on Facebook, right? There's a lot of different things that you could do to sell something physically that you don't need anymore. Recently, I cleaned out my kids' rooms and I donated a lot of stuff, but they had these very valuable vintage Star Wars movie posters that were like 30 years old that were framed. I loved them and they had them their whole life. And guess what? None of them cared. One's a teenager, the other two are adults. They're like, eh, they don't really like Star Wars anymore. I'm like, what? So I was like heartbroken. I was crying. Like, I guess I got to sell them because I don't really care about them as much as I thought they did. And so I put them out online and this guy literally came by. He was so excited, a grown adult man. And he was almost in tears. He was so grateful. He was so excited and it made his day and it made me not feel so sad because now I knew that those valuable, beautiful posters were going to go to somebody that really loved them right? So when you're holding on to things, you're preventing someone else from having joy. So if you have things around you, this is a decluttering tip too, things that no longer mm. bring you joy, right? Like some old toys, some of these things are extremely valuable. You wouldn't be shocked at how much you could sell them for. So that's number one is just be aware of what you have around you that you no longer need that you could easily sell. And, you know, that could be anywhere from $50 to $500 or more. You'd be surprised what value you have sitting around that you don't know you have, even old cell phones and things like that. Okay. Now, if you are own, if you own a business, you're going to have a lot more options. Or if you have a side hustle, then you have a lot more options. Okay. So any other, uh, I'm looking here in the chat, any other ideas, you guys? Um, <laughs> Sadie says, yes, it would be nice to have that extra zero. Hey, JP, good to see you here. Hi, Viva. Hey, Bonnie. 
Okay, retired Hi. entrepreneur, full-time tax Hello. Hey, there's Cole. All right, good, good job. All right, so if you guys could, in the chat, if you could put um, any other ideas, I wanna brainstorm with you. I don't have to just, I got a whole list, but I want you guys to start thinking of things on your end as well. And I'll tell you one, the very last one is gonna be very special because I'm gonna share with you that last one thing that every single one of you could do right now, today, by the end of the day, you could post something on social media, you could send it out to an email, even if you don't have very many friends or family, and you could make money today. Okay, so hang in for that. All right. Another thing you could do is run a promotion. So if you, uh, Sadie says, work on that book, get it marketed. Yes, absolutely. Pre-sales. Um, if you have a project coming up, you can do pre-sales of that project, right? Um, if you own a business, you could run a promotion. One thing I did once is... Um, I went through my list. I had an email list. It was about 1,400 people. And I had an income goal I needed to make. Things were slow. I took 50 pennies and I put them in my right pocket. And every time I made a phone call, I would transfer the penny to the other pocket. And I literally just started going through my email list and calling clients, old clients, people that never bought, right? And saying, hey, how's it going? I haven't checked in with you for a while. How's the pan, you know, how'd you survive the pandemic? What's new? And sometimes it would lead to really long conversations. And other times it would be like, you know, I'm struggling with this thing. I really could use some help with it. Now, I may not know, I may not be able to solve that problem for them, but I could refer them to somebody that could help them, right? Because I'm a resourceful person. And my intention was not to call and sell them something. My, my intention was to call and help them and serve them in some way. And as a leader, when you show up to serve people, then you'll be amazed at what happens with the result. When you give from your heart, it always comes back to you. Always, always, always 100%. So I called, um, I, had, I had an income goal. I think it was like $15,000 that I needed to do in a certain amount of time. And I literally just got on the phone with people. And as I transferred a penny over, I never even got through those 50 pennies, right? Because I ended up talking to 20 people and I ended up hitting the goal of like 15,000. So what it told me is that every person that I talked to had a certain monetary value, right? Whether they bought from me or not. So those of you in sales, those of you that are coaches, Maybe you're authors and you're trying to sell books and you feel rejected when people don't buy your book. Here's the thing to think about. If every person on that list, if the total was 15,000, and let's say I only talked to 15 people instead of 20, that's $1,000 a person. Some people may spend more than that. Some people may spend less than that. But the truth is you won't know till you get on the phone to find out what they need. Don't assume you know what they need. And then if you're going to create a product or a service or something to help them, don't create something unless you already have a list of people willing to buy it. So the other thing is you go through that list, you do that, you start talking to people and get, you guys can do this if you don't even have a business, right? Like I know, like depending on what you think people need versus what they actually need, right? And, and I'll give you an example. Bonnie, I know is on here in our VIP room and works with a church. Okay. Everybody assumes, well, the church is free, right? The church, what are they? Everybody wants prayer. Everybody wants a better life. Everybody wants good health. They want better relationships. They want to make more money. They want prayer. They want support. They come for fellowship. That's a given. But there are also ways that you can partner with people. You can partner with authors and do Bible studies. And, and you have 20, 30 people in that group of Bible studies. And they're all going to buy the, the, the course materials. You can buy them wholesale and you can resell them. And you end up making maybe $10 a person. So if you have 100 people in the Bible study, that's a thousand bucks, right? So it's not as difficult to make money as people make it out to be, even if you're a nonprofit like a church. Um, it's just one idea, okay? So sending an email campaign. Uh, so we talked about sell something, right? run a promotion, send an email campaign. If you have, how many of you guys have an email list? If you do put in the chat, put list, put list. Now, 
how many of you have an email list over 10,000 people? If you're a coach, an author, a speaker, you own a business, anybody have an email list over 10,000 people? If you don't, then you need to make sure you watch our list builder training, which I will be going over in the next two weeks. Now that I know that the majority of you raised your hand and said, I don't have a big list, because when you build your list, the value is you're getting people off social media because you know what? Two days ago, I woke up and my Facebook account was gone. It was hacked. It was locked. I couldn't even get into it. I was panicked because my entire business runs in Facebook. I run Facebook ads. We have an ad agency. We run Facebook ads. I use it for my personal stuff. I use it for all these groups. And it made me realize, oh my gosh, if Facebook went away tomorrow, my whole business how would it be affected? I don't ever, ever want to be relying on building a platform in someone else's company. Y'all get that? Even those of you that are selling things on Amazon, you're sending customers to Amazon. You can sell things directly. All right. I have an Airbnb. I have a, a house that I use on Airbnb. I have, I'm at the mercy of VRBO and, and Airbnb. But if I build my own website and market it myself, now I make more money and I have more customers. So how do you do things like that, right? That that You don't have to own a business to do that. That's a side thing that you can do with, with an extra property or even an extra room that you have, which is another way you can make money, okay? Viva says, I would love to have a 10K list of emails. All right, girl, you got it. That's your goal. So I want you all to be thinking about this and I want you all to make a commitment to me, to yourselves, to God, to the universe, to your fellow people here, the demanders. <laughs> Um, in the next seven days, what are you going to take from this list to go make some money? All right. And part of this is to get you out of your comfort zone of thinking you don't have any money. Because guess what? Every single one of you has money and you have resources sitting there. It might be under your bed, in your closet, in your garage, or it may be right here. It may be right here. It might be here. It might be here. I'm writing something. But it's almost always related to taking action. It's almost always related to taking action. And those of my faith friends out there, y'all know I'm a Christian. I love God. I, I'm very faith-based in everything I do. But praying alone isn't going to be sometimes enough to take action. If you don't, if you have prayer and you don't have knowledge or you don't take action, it is going to limit you. Now, I'm not saying you're going to limit God. Don't take that the wrong way. I'm saying that God can only do so much. He can't physically get you off the couch and have you go do something right? So you have to show up. And if those of you that are struggling with your health, with your relationships, with money, with your business, it's almost always a leadership issue. It's how you're showing up because how you show up is how people, you train people how to treat you. All right. So let's keep going down the list. Where are we? Number four, you can find and flip a house. Um, now you can do this right now with no money. And believe it or not, you could actually do this um, you could do this with no money. And now is the best time in the world to do this. You could be a bird dog for an investor. I'm actually paying my son to watch Grant Cardone's training because he's really good at, at, at real estate. And I'm having him go out and look for deals for me because I don't have time to do that. But I want to invest in certain properties and I know what I'm looking for, right? You could be that person for an investor and you can make money by finding them deals. Did you guys even know that was a thing? It doesn't take away from your full-time job or career or business or being a mom. No matter where you are, what you do, you can plug in and do things like that. You can even buy a property with no money down. Right now, guess what? The bank, the interest rates are over 6%. It's a joke. Nobody wants a house. Nobody wants to finance a house with a bank right now. Nobody. So what do you think is happening to people who have a million dollar home, which is the average in California right now, by the way, they have a million dollar home. They had to sell it because they moved for a job. And now they've already bought another million dollar home and they have their equity tied up and they can't sell the house because the banks aren't loaning money and nobody can buy a house. What do you think is going to happen if they have to make strokes on these two houses and they lose their job or their business starts to make less money? And now they got all this pressure of carrying two house payments and you come along and say, hey, I need a house. I don't want a bank loan. Will you finance me? What do you think they're going to say? Hmm. I'm going to make this house payment on my own. I've already bought my other house. 
or I can keep making the strokes, or maybe I can have this person take it over. And there's all kinds of ways you can do that, guys. I can't get into all of these too deep, but I've done it. I bought my first house that way 20 something years ago. That house is now worth over 450,000. I bought it for 150. By the way, I used to live in Los Angeles. I used to have a pet business. I went around and picked up a lot of dog poop <laughs> and I had celebrity clients like Elvira and Brad Pitt. And today I was laughing so hard because I saw a thing that said back then I used to go to Elvira's house. Okay. Her name is Cassandra, her real name. She, um, she and her husband bought a home in Hollywood and it was like 49 rooms and Brad Pitt bought that house for $1.7 million 30 years ago. 1.7 million. And it was haunted, which is hilarious. And she warned him it's haunted. And he goes, Oh, that's cool. And he actually thought that was kind of funny, but of course she's Elvira. So why wouldn't it be? And today guess how much he sold that house for 30 years later, put in the chat. If you just take a wild guess in Beverly Hills or not Beverly Hills, but in Los Angeles, it's like 42 rooms, 47, 40 something rooms. Guess how much he sold the house for. I'm seeing 20 million, 100 million. Yeah, good, good guess, right? 1.7 million is what he bought it for 30 years ago. He sold it for $40 million. Okay, he made 40 times his money back. And 1.7 million to Brad Pitt 30 years ago was a lot of money. But look what happens. Now, you could argue, oh, it went up because it's Brad Pitt's house. Of course, that's part of it because he built his personal brand. And you can do that too. And you authors, listen up. You, you build your personal brand. That's how you really scale to a million dollars. And you get in demand for speaking engagements because now you have an audience that other people want to get in front of your audience too. Okay, um, another one. Um, and I'm probably gonna do more than 50 if that's okay with y'all. Let's say you have a referral. Let, you have a friend that needs a therapist or a coach and you know a friend that's a coach. You go to the friend that's a coach and you say, what kind of people are you looking for and how can I help support your business? They tell you, you refer someone to them and guess what? They'll give you a referral commission. Nine times out of 10, they have a marketing budget or a sales team or they're paying somebody for a lead or a referral or they're paying for paid ads on Facebook. They are paying to get leads. And some people will pay a referral fee. Now, it's in good faith to disclose that to your friend, like, hey, I have some people I work with, you know, I have an affiliate relationship or I have an associate relationship with them. Even Amazon, you guys, if you're selling something on Amazon, like all of our authors, every single one of the authors that out there that you're, you're promoting someone else's book, you should go get an Amazon link as an associate or an affiliate link. And when you promote that book, Amazon will pay you a commission. Okay, when you refer somebody to Macy's, do they pay you a, a commission? No. When you tell someone about this great movie that you just saw, are they going to pay you a commission? No. If you are helping your friend overcome mental health and an illness that could cost them their life and you refer them to an expert professional that could have potentially save their life and teach them tools to manage and you get paid for making that connection, is that okay? right? That's win, win, win for everybody, right? These are things you can do today, you guys. You just need to open your mind a little bit more to what's possible, okay? Um, if you own stock, you could sell a stock. That's another way you can make money, but you have to have money to buy stock, okay? Um, you could, I put on my list, research the move to Puerto Rico and set up my business there because everybody that I know, all my entrepreneurial friends and mentors, all of them, uh, all of them have moved to Puerto Rico. <laughs> Brendan Bouchard, Shanda Sumter, like they're all saying you got to come to Puerto Rico. So I'm actually going to go check it out because I love the idea of living on an island. Um, but I still have to run my business. I've got a teenager. So it's like, there's lots of different opportunities. And it's funny because I remember my mentor, Shanda, telling me she was not the jet girl. She used to look down on people that bought a private jet. And then she made so much money that she had such a tax issue. She had to buy the jet. And she's like, I can't believe I'm the jet girl. Like I used to like never want to be that person. And, but then she helped a lot of people, donated a lot of money. And guess what? That jet went up 700,000 last year. So again, when you invest in things that make money, you continue to make money. Then your money works for you. Those of you that are just trying to pay your bills, 
there's some things you can do in the next seven days on this list. So keep listening. Those of you that have money, you should save your money and, and only spend it when you can invest in something that's going to grow your money. A mindset set shift for me for years that I had was I'm just looking for write-offs. I was just trying to find a way to legally, you know, keep my tax liabilities down. And I'm like, I'm just looking for write-offs. And I had to change the mentality because when I'm just looking for write-offs, that's just getting by. That's, that's a ridiculous attitude for me to have. I need to look for investments, not write-offs. You see how different that energy is in attracting that money and that relationship with money? Because if you look at money as a stressor, like, oh, I hate money, it stresses me out, then it's not going to be attracted to you because money is attracted to the truth. It's a relationship. Just like if you're trying to attract the right partner in your life. How many of you out there are single? Put single in the chat. Ooh, you could have a little love connection here. You never know. We'll talk about that too. Sadie, Sadie knows what I'm talking about. Um, you know, when, when you put what you want out there and you do the work on yourself, you attract the right person in your life, right? No matter how old you are, it's never, you're never too late to have that same with money, but you've got to do the work on yourself and show up for yourself to attract the people with money and the clients with money and the people that have money that can share some with you if you show up and be credible, right? Okay. Um, and but on most of you, almost everybody that knows me or some of my clients that are on here, we had to start with a relationship. Y'all, no one knew me. And then the more you got to know me and you got to spend time with me doing this kind of stuff, then you started to realize there's some real value there. And you're going, wow, I'm really glad I invested in this. This was an investment to work with me. And if you're here today, you're watching for free. This is an investment of your time. It's not just my time, right? It's your time that's valuable too. Okay. Um, by the way, if you move to Puerto Rico, there's Puerto Rico, there's a thing called an Act 60 decree that you can keep your company in your state, but you can live in Puerto Rico. There's all kinds of legal things and tax situations, which is why people are doing it. So that's something that I've learned a lot more about. And because I actually pay for mentors as well right? To help me move my business to the next level. These are things that when you start making a certain amount of money, taxes can become an issue when you live in California and you pay 45%. It is outrageous. It's crazy. Um, okay. You can do trades and, and um, you can do a trade inside a self-directed IRA. So the gains are not taxed. That's another way you can make some money in the next seven days. Okay, you could pull money out of retirement and invest it in something. Maybe you find the stock was down when I like the beginning of last year, when I knew the stocks were going to dump, I sold all my stocks at the height of it. I waited a few months and I went back and bought the same stocks. You know, basically what, what I sold them when they were high. I knew they were going to go low. I sold them. I, I sold them when they were high. I went back and bought them when they were low. And I, I made way more money on the same stock twice, okay? I don't know much about stocks. I don't invest in stocks. I just invest in companies I like, like Tesla and Apple. That's it. I invest in the companies I like. And I see myself as a stock and I invest in me. So some of you, that's gonna resonate. If you were a stock, would you invest in you? Because you're asking people to invest in you, not your business. Do you get that? When you're working for someone else and you're taking and you're working with somebody as a job, you're, you're investing in them and they're investing in training you. Do you know that what it costs our company to hire a salesperson and that leaves $300,000 is our loss. If we invest $30,000 in training and time, and then they leave, that's a lot. So that's why it's better to invest in finding the right people and you hire skill set, you hire character. No, some of you are looking at sales, okay? If you have sales, put it in the chat. If you do sales, if you do sales or you want to learn sales and marketing because you want to build a business, you need to hire a sales team. Maybe you don't like sales and you don't want to do sales, but you need to hire people to do it. Just know that every business needs it. So if you need sales, put sales in the chat. And I'm going to go back and look at these because I want to see what information y'all need. I can do an entire training, one of these two days in the next two weeks, we're going to do it. I actually have it as a sales framework. I'm going to go over with you so you can learn exactly what we did 
to go from zero to a million dollar business in less than a year during the pandemic. Okay, that it, it, and we did it with the same framework I can teach you. Uh, for those of you that have a business or that want to have a business. Okay, um, you can sell an affiliate offer if you have a list, if you have a group of clients. And we have done that before and we disclose that. You know, a lot of times we'll bring in a guest speaker or somebody, they have a product, they have an offer. We tell our team or our clients, hey, this is something we don't do but we believe they can help you. We have vetted them out or I've worked with them or I've had success with them and I want to share them with you. And that person may come in and do a special training, make an offer, and then we get a percentage of it. And that's going to be usually for most companies, it's going to be anywhere from 10 to 50%. When I work with Tony Robbins and Dean Graziosi and I promote their big massive events and they sell tickets for like a hundred bucks, I might make 50 bucks, 50%, right? But what's funny is I was a trainer with their company. So when you pay 20 grand for high ticket training, I was one of the coaches. So I learned a lot in my own business and also working behind the scenes with them, with Mark Victor Hansen, Jack Canfield, some of the, the biggest thought leaders on the planet. I'm teaching you these things that I've learned from my mentors and have spent well over $200,000 on this knowledge. Okay. So I hope, is this valuable? Is this helping you guys? Hopefully I'm not overwhelming anybody. You guys, I'm just checking in with y'all. You okay? Everybody good? Okay. Um, you can borrow some life insurance. Depending on the type of life insurance you have, Viva is in our VIP room here. She is an incredible wealth manager. She wants to help women, you know, uh, make more money. And so she actually is going to be doing a speaker training with us to get certified to be a speaker with our company at my home up in Yosemite in the next few months. And by the way, it's another way to make money. I bought a home during the pandemic uh, that I use as a retreat center. So I'm going to be doing a live training up there in May. And I'm, I'll put the links in the in the Facebook group if you all are interested and you want to come to that. Um, we're going to be doing a three-day um, author training and a three-day speaker training. So you guys can come if you want. It's going to be a lot of fun. Some people want to get away from distractions and just be immersed and learn in that kind of environment. Other people, they want to be online. They don't want to wear pants. They want to be private. They don't want their camera on. You know, we, we want to give you the information that's going to benefit you in the way you feel most comfortable and confident. But I will tell you, there's nothing greater than live events and feeling the energy of the other amazing people in the room and elevating each other. There is just a whole different experience of meeting Tony Robbins in person versus listening to his podcast. That's all I can say. Uh, so if you get a chance to do live events, do it. I am going to Puerto Rico and I'm going to go hang out with my mentors because why not, right? And I'm going to learn some really good stuff. So I want to be able to do that for my clients. I want y'all to be able to do that for your clients, to be able to have workshops and retreats. And by the way, if you need speakers, reach out to me because we hire speakers and we have a speakers bureau. If you need to hire speakers for your event, guess what, you guys? Oh my gosh, I forgot about this one. Ugh. I get so excited about this stuff. Okay, guess how many companies there are out there every day in the US and Canada who need to hire a speaker? Put the number in the chat, what you think. Every single day, how many companies in just the US and Canada, I'm not talking about even the rest of the world, but just the US and Canada, how many companies do you think need to hire a speaker every single day? What's that number? Let me see what you guys are putting in the chat. If you know the answer, don't cheat. <laughs> okay, let me see here. Um, oh, Bonnie says, I do advertising for our church. Thanks for the tip about promoting an author. Yes, absolutely. We can uh, touch bases offline because I've got some really good ideas on that. And we've got a lot of local authors that could also do that. And sometimes authors will come and donate. Like when I spoke at my church, um, I sold like 600 books and I donated a big portion of that back to the church. My dad does Bible study books. He's 86 years young. He makes uh, thousands of dollars a month selling his books and he donates 100% back to his church. So my minister at one of my churches right now, who's also a client, is writing a book. He's in the Philippines right now. So um, we're working with him to help him you know, develop his book. So there's so many different ways you can do it. A book is another great way to do it. Okay, let me keep, so let me finish this um, as you sells. Okay. 
Bonnie says 100,000, yeah, 100,000 companies a day. That's a good guess. Under 10,000, Sadie. All right, anybody else? You guys have any other? Let me look at my little Facebook friends here and see what you guys are doing. This is a really good question. For those of you that want to be speakers, this is a really good question. All right. So let me see what your comments are on Facebook here. All right. So y'all ready for the answer? And for uh, Viva, I think you're going to love this answer. You probably know because we talked about it yesterday offline. It's 7,000 companies. 7,000 companies a day are looking for speakers. 7,000 just in the US and Canada every single day. Guys, when I heard that, it haunted me. I said, we have to start speaker training. It's a natural progression for authors, for business owners, for coaches. It's a way to make money. You can also sell books there. You could speak for free. We have Tanya McCready. She was posting in our Facebook group earlier, welcoming our new members. She's one of our authors. Her book is behind me on that, that bookshelf. She's done over 200 Rotary events and she has an eight figure business, eight figures. Okay. She sold thousands of books, but she's also given away a lot of books. So you can still make six figures a year or more. That's a hundred thousand plus a year by speaking for free. When you know how to sell from the platform, if you have a product like a book or you have a service beyond your speaker fees. Okay. That's another really good way to make money. Now that requires training. Not everybody has the excitement or like wants to be a speaker. I get it. These aren't going to be, this is not 50 ways for everybody to make money in the next seven days. This is for anybody. And you pick one. You don't have to do them all. I've done them all. I've done all of these, except move to Puerto Rico and save money on tax. I haven't done that yet, <laughs> yet, but it's on my list, okay? And I don't mean move. I mean, I my company would be there. I, I have houses in other places and I travel a lot anyways. I can work from anywhere. This is what I want for all of you to have that lifestyle, to be able to, yes, I lost my dream home. I lost two houses after the last recession, okay? I know what loss feels like. Believe me, I know. There are some of you that are just struggling to eat right now and pay your bills and you you haven't even paid your March rent and it's April 1st. I know who you are because we've talked candidly about it, right? And I have to be fully transparent when there's things in my own company because I can't serve you without the truth. And I tell my clients and, and our team what's going on if things are up or down. I don't want things to be up or down. I want them to be keep, continue to grow because that means we're impacting and helping a lot of people. But here's the thing. The real truth is, you guys, how many of you have ever been so broke it hurt? How many of you have ever been so broke it hurt? Like, let that sink in for a minute. Some of you are making good money. Even with the economy, you're doing okay. And you might've forgotten what it felt like when you go to the store and you're trying to buy food and you don't even have enough money to buy food for your family. I know how that feels because I've been there. Guys, I went from making a million dollars a year to losing everything and living on unemployment and like government assistance. I, I went to, to make, from making a million dollars a year to making $1,800 a month as a single mom with three kids. I had to rebuild my whole life. And there was a time that I honestly didn't even know if I was going to have a place to live. We moved four times in 18 months. It was scary. It was scary. And if I didn't have faith in, in God, in myself, in my family, in my abilities and my resources, I thought it took me 20 years to build it. And I thought it's going to take me 20 years to do it again. But no, I did it in less than two years. And you know what? I bought my dream home. And now my dream home is an asset that produces income. And some of you are going to get to go spend some time at my dream home and hang out with me, right? I'm a, I'm a living example of what it takes to bounce back. I know what it takes. And guess what? God, all those things that happened to me and I thought I was being buried, God was planting something in me to have this conversation with y'all today, to be real and say, this happened. There's no shame in that game. It happens. I remember blaming myself going, what is wrong with me? I'm not an alcoholic. I'm not an, a drug addict. Like, how's my life blowing up? I just want to help people and give money to my church. 
Why am I broke? Why did I lose everything? Why did my son die? And, and that was the catalyst, y'all, really. My son passed away. He died in my arms. And even though I had all these resources and I was doing well financially and I had all this team and all this stuff and things that I thought defined me in life, all this money, I had two houses, I had two multiple cars, I had kids. And, and then my son Carson died in my arms. I didn't wake up that morning expecting that to happen. I wasn't prepared for it. I shut down. I shut down hard and it made me lose so much more than my son. I ended up getting divorced. I went through bankruptcy, foreclosure, tax audits, even had to go to tax court and defend myself because this thing was dragging on for years and years and years. And guess what? They were accusing me of owing $3.6 million because I donated $2 million to charity. This is the truth, y'all. Listen, I hope it's okay that I'm being honest with you because we're talking about money today. Is this okay? You guys all right? Because here's the deal. Everything I'm sharing with you is my experience. And I've overcome a lot. And I realize now all these things and that happened to me, including I almost died, right? Three days before my son died, I almost died. And I, I came within 90 seconds of losing my life. And I had such a powerful spiritual encounter. I can't even, I couldn't even talk about it for a year without bawling my eyes out. It was the most incredible validation in my life. I never asked for it. I didn't need it, but I got it. And it, it, it is, makes me have the most unshakable faith. And I had it before, but I can tell you there's definitely something beyond this life for all of us. And right now, what we're doing here, this is what matters. The only reason you need to make income is to make impact. Or if you make income, it's because you made an impact on another human being. That's the best way to earn money. It's not manipulation. It's not sales. It's not coercing or forcing or making people feel like they have to work with you. It's it, You can do it from your soul. You can do it with love, but you have to do it with truth. So I had to deal with a lot of truth, a lot of truth. And I knew the truth and I knew I didn't owe this money. And so they said, but you, you, you donated 2 million to charity. Guess what? Some of those charities gave me free tickets to their dinners. And the IRS position was, oh, you didn't report that as income. So we're going to charge you for the $2 million as income. And there's civil fraud penalties of 80%. You owe us $3.6 million. And we're going to harass you. We're going to levy your bank accounts. We're going to come after your kids' bank accounts. We're going to make you file bankruptcy. We're going to take your houses, your cars, your business, your life. Guys, I my whole body has chills right now because I remember being so broke, it hurts. If you've ever played a card game where you've lost points and you're below zero and you feel like I can't win, I'm below zero. I got out of bed every day and said, how and why should I even get out of bed if I'm never gonna make 3.6 million for the rest of my life? How do I ever, ever get motivated to keep moving? And now, all of that, getting through that, finding tools, talking to mentors, being inspired, having, meeting other people, so many of you that fueled me to keep going and move forward for me and for you. And here we are today. And now I have this incredible self-help business and public publishing company. And I can look people in the eye when they talk to me about their taxes. And some people are suicidal and they say, I owe five grand. And I'm like, that's it. Are you kidding me? And then I tell them my story and they're like, oh, okay. It's not that much. And let me tell you the end of the story. I took them to court. I won. I had to represent myself because I was so broke. I couldn't hire anybody. That was scary. But faith and God got me through something. I couldn't see the end. I had to trust it. I didn't have a choice. I couldn't hire somebody. So guess what? At the very end, they settled for $5,000. $5,000. After all that. So there is hope. No matter how bad your situation looks. I'm telling you, I want to work with hope dealers. There's enough dope dealers out there. You guys are hope dealers. This is what we're selling, hope, inspiration, impact. And the fact that you can make an income is even better. 
So every one of you has the ability to make your own life better through your leadership and how you show up, right? And these different ways you can make money. And I've lost track of how many we are at now. Like, let me just keep going. Sorry, I got I got a little off track. I'm so sorry, guys. I don't I don't want to go way over today because I know we got a it's a it's a weekend for y'all and I want to respect your time. But I just get so passionate about this because I I've had my failures, I've had my success, and I know that fear can rob you of so much more than any ex in your life ever could or any body that's robbed you or taken from you or violated you in some way. And that fear comes from within. And if you have faith, that faith and fear, they don't coexist. Faith will wipe fear out like that. And the thing is, courage doesn't mean that there's no fear. It means you may have fear, but you do it anyways. You try it anyways. You take action. So this is what I want you all to hear today. Take something on this list and make a commitment in the next seven days to do it. And let's talk about it. Come back in the room, go on the Facebook page and share your success stories. I love hearing how you guys take this and go take action. That's the next step. Okay. A few more things. Um, you could apply for a loan. Yeah, you could apply for a loan. That's another way to make money in the next seven days. You could ask for a credit line increase. And there's tricks about that. We're going to get into that. I'm going to have my friend talk to you who's a credit repair person who will tell you as a business owner why your personal credit matters and what you can do about it. And there's plenty of programs out there that will fund you um, if you need financing and all that kind of stuff for your business. We can talk about that at some point. But you can go get a loan. You can apply for a loan. You can apply for a credit increase. Um, you know, you call the credit card companies and ask to raise your credit. Now, the best time of year to do that is in November and December because they know you're buying Christmas presents and they want you to be on the hook for them. Um, okay, you can call your clients and make them a sweet offer. You can say, hey, I'm doing a special thing for the next two weeks only. I'm doing this thing, this XYZ thing, and it's only $9.97. Normally it's $5,000, 10 people only, right? Um, remember that your CPA is not a tax advisor. Just that one tip alone will save you money in the next two weeks while you're filing your taxes, right? If you own a business, your bookkeeper is the one that you need to pay the most because the CPA just takes the records and does whatever the bookkeeper says. So if you don't pay for a good bookkeeper and you should be paying at least 50 bucks an hour for a really good bookkeeper, like that's, that's a truth, right? Um, we have two bookkeepers and a CPA because we have different ones at different levels that do different things. One's more day to day. She, and she's a master's. She's brilliant, brilliant. Cecilia, you guys might know Cecilia. So she's more like daily involved every day. And Sarah is more involved once a month doing like high level things for the CPA. And that way you wouldn't pay your CPA to go stand in line at the bank and deposit a check for you. Like that doesn't make any sense. Right. So you got to be careful and where you are hiring people and where you are outsourcing and make sure you're giving them the right jobs that will save you money. Because remember, saving money in the next seven days is just as good as making money in the next seven days. Right. OK. Um, look for investments, not write offs. Change your mindset. Um, master cash flow. So you don't need money. How's that one? <laughs> That's something you can change like that. The mindset can change instantly. Find someone else to run your finances. If you're not good at running your own finances, if you need a bookkeeper, don't try to do it all yourself. You can get bookkeepers to work for four hours a month, even at 50 bucks, that's only $200 a month. And then you don't have to spend a hundred hours preparing for your taxes. You have your records, you have your resources, you've got QuickBooks. It's not a very expensive thing. So, you know, that's your first hire would be either a VA and then a bookkeeper because it's going to give you your time back. And when you when you have time back, now you can spend your time on things that generate income, right? My mentors always told me, you can't build a $50 million company if you're doing $20 an hour jobs and you're doing them all yourself, right? If you, what is it? If you, if you, if you work as a babysitter, you're going to be getting paid as babysitter wages. <laughs> you don't want to babysit people either. You want to hire leaders with strong character. We're going to go through hiring stuff in the next few weeks as well. This is all over-encompassing business stuff beyond just the solopreneurs, okay? Because some of you want to grow beyond that. 
Um, you could work to get investors. There are people that will help you develop a card deck and you can take it out and get funding literally in 30 days. I have a friend that she went out with, you know, uh, for drinks with somebody and she ended up, they wrote a deal on a napkin and she got her funding by just a pitch, right? Because they really, they liked her and trusted her and they felt like she really knew her stuff. Um, you can automate your sales training. You can automate your email list. You can automate an opt-in page. You can build a new web page, create a new offer. Do you see that if you run a business or own a business, you have a lot more opportunities to make money? This is why I want to teach you guys how to do this and not be, be fearful about it, okay? Um, you can speak on somebody else's stage. You can go talk on somebody's stage and then maybe they'll buy your book. You can go on a podcast. They might buy your book or your service or your industry, right? If you're already in business, this is a great way to leverage your platform or somebody else's platform. Um, you can close an account you don't need. How many of you are paying for all these apps and things that you don't need? You can save money by getting rid of that stuff and being aware of where you're spending. Um, another thing that you can do is track every single dollar that you're spending in the next seven days and be become aware of where you're spending and where you're spending things. Like, are you spending money on things that aren't generating income, that are just wasting money, money out the window? You may not even be aware. When you start tracking your time, where you spend your money, even your emotions, you're going to be amazed um, at what you find. And we'll have a training just on tracking one day too. Um, in fact, I got to make a note for myself so I don't forget that. Okay. Um, I downloaded the CNBC app and started tracking stocks when I wanted to look at stocks. Um, create a stock watch list for the stocks you want to buy. Okay, mine are Tesla, Amazon, Salesforce, Adobe, Chipotle, Zoom, and Apple. Those are the companies I use. Those are the companies that I give money to. So why not become an investor and own a piece of those companies if I'm giving them money as an author? I work with Amazon every day. I make a living from Amazon, right? We made 12,000 in royalties off our book in December that came out. So Amazon, for me to invest in Amazon stock makes sense because it's going up. And I'm part of it, you know, um, you can find a homeowner to agree to owner finance loan um, with a low interest rate, three or 4%. And then you can refinance it in a couple of years with a traditional lender when the interest rates go down, when the market changes. We talked about that a little bit earlier. Um, you can refer your clients to a financing source or a lending source. If they need money, some of those lenders will actually pay you a finder's fee right? At, for a referral fee or a marketing fee, whatever they call it. Um, you can make 10 calls a day to diagnose the pain of your client. Remember the thing I said about the pennies. If you're going to do it in the next seven days, put 50 pennies in your pocket. I have a this fuzzy red robe. And when I'm making calls, I'm not on Zoom, I'm in my robe, you know, and I, I move the pennies. And every time I'm in that robe, they jingle because I have them still to remind me that every day I have to do things that generate income. If I want to make money, I have to do things that generate income. Um, if you have a podcast, if you have a, a Facebook page, you can do a Facebook Live just like I am right now. This is We're broadcasting in Zoom with our VIPs and we're broadcasting live to a Facebook group. Y'all can do it. Guess what? It costs nothing. I pay for my Zoom membership um, every month. That's a professional one. I think it's 60 bucks, but they have free ones. You can use StreamYard. You can pay for that. That they're they're inexpensive, but you can do live broadcast. Okay. Um. You can fire your CPA. Get a new CPA. <laughs> when I changed CPAs, the the first year he re he back he went back and redid my taxes and saved me fifty thousand dollars five zero fifty thousand dollars by doing an amended return because there were things that he saw that the other guy didn't catch. So that's a lot of money to save in the next two weeks, by the way. Um, you can create a new web page or a new offer. If you own a business, you can get a URL. It doesn't cost very much. If you know how to build your own pages and use templates, you can do it yourself. You can hire somebody. There's tons of people out there that can help you do that. If you pay somebody even a few hundred bucks and your offer is $500, you just need one client to pay for it, right? Um, 
You can sell items on eBay, offer up or Facebook. We talked about that. You can create a training. Uh, you can teach somebody how to do something. And, you know, Nigel Smart is one of our authors. He started a coaching business to help dads going through divorce because he was divorced twice. And he realized what that did to his family and to his relationship with his daughters and his ex-wives. And like, he didn't want that, right? So he created a coaching platform just from his experience of being divorced. Um, you can sell products directly to people. Um, if you have a book, you can sell books on Amazon. You can sell books directly. You can speak at Rotary and sell books tomorrow. You could speak at your church and, and sell books, right? If you have a product, a book is a product. Um, you could sell your car. That's another way you could make money in the next seven days, right? If you have a little bit of equity, you could sell your house. Might take you a while because the market, um, if you have equity in it, then you know you may not be able to sell it in the next seven days, but that's definitely a plan. Um, you could run live trainings on social media like I'm doing right now. You send an email to your list and you invite them to social media. That's exactly what I'm doing here today, right? And so it's getting my email list more active, engaged in social media. And it's bringing people on our social media page into this training. Um, you could call, if you have an existing list of clients, you could call your existing clients, let them know about a new offer or just talk to them, engage with them. And maybe you're gonna find that there's 10 or 15 that all have the same issue. Then you create a product or a service or a solution to that, right? It's just conversation. So if you're in business, conversations lead to conversions, which leads to cash. If you need to make money, you have to have conversations with people. You're either having conversations online in the form of a web page or marketing, or you're having actual conversations on the phone or on Zoom or in person. But money comes from other people. So if you need to make more money, then you need to work on your leadership and how you show up for people and what pain point, what solution you're offering them. It's funny because I think of church. If the church charged, people might go, oh, they're charging, but it's free. And then people go to church and then they tithe and they tithe way more. Like I give way more to my church than I pay for a comedy club of entertainment. When I go out and go to a, listen to a comedian and it feels like, wow, I'm spending all this money on food and drinks and paying for this comedian, but I donate more to my church. Right. I mean, because it's it, because I feel good about giving back. I want to give that money. I want to honor God. I want to give back. I want to tithe. I want to be grateful for the success that I've had. And I believe in that. It's good karma, but it's also good for the community. It's good for the church. And you want to plug in and get involved. You don't want to be a bystander. And most churches, the biggest problem they have is finding people that stick, that are going to stay and serve the church and actually be part of that community and contribute and add value and help plant new churches and go do you know, uh, trips and donate money to pay for trips to go help other people. I mean, we did this, uh, our church did a plant. They had a raised to life campaign and our ministers in, in the Philippines right now. And he posted something yesterday. They had this ambitious goal of helping a thousand people find God this year, a thousand people. And we've already been like two or 300 people in the first quarter. Now he's in the Philippines and they were at a high school and the host said, Hey, why don't you do an altar call? And guess what? Over 150 kids High school students came forward to the altar call and gave their life to God that day in the Philippines. I mean, that's what money does for churches. When you donate money and you tithe, it's way beyond just your community. And I want you to have extra money so that you're not starving and surviving, but you're thriving and you have the ability to donate money to different people to churches or charities or nonprofits or something that's near and dear to you. I want that for all of you. Okay, so I know I've given you more than 50. Has that been helpful, my friends? Has that been good for you guys? Um, and one of the things I wanna do, it's 11-11, uh, I love it, angel numbers, perfect timing, is I wanna give you an opportunity. Um, is it okay if we've talked about this today, I've given you all these different opportunities and I wanna show you one thing you can do on the list that we mentioned that you could, every single one of you could do right now today to start making money. I'm going to put it in the Facebook group. Um, hold on a second. Dun, dun, dun. Let me find it. 
And then um, we're going to wrap up this training and go into our VIPs. If you guys need some one-on-ones, we'll go through some of these things, any questions you have, and do some private coaching. If you want VIP, join us at VIP. It's only 30 bucks. If you're an existing client, you don't have to pay any extra. You can hop into G- the VIP. But I definitely want to talk to some newbies as well and, and people that aren't a client and see where we can help you kind of get unstuck um, and give you some ideas as well in the coaching. So you can join me at VIP for that. Um, you can go to mydefiningmoments.com slash VIP dash April. That's the link. Or you can click on it in the Facebook page. And then I want to give you an opportunity. Now, I'm going to put this in the Facebook page right now, right here. I keep jumping back and forth in here. This is so funny. I'm. It's like I am having the worst time trying to jump back and forth in my phone. Okay, hold on one second, you guys. <laughs> I got to go back to my page here. All right, I'm going to actually put it in the training. Um. This is our Facebook page, right? For authors, speakers, and coaches, business owners. It could be any industry. This is where if you haven't joined um, our Facebook page, you can do it. And um, this is, I'm going to put this in there right now. Okay. Um, Now, for those of you that have overcome anything in your life, one of the quickest ways you can make money, including today and the next seven days, is to think about writing a book. Okay. If you take out a piece of paper, you've been taking notes. I want you all to write the word the T H E. There's your first word in your book. You are officially authors and you are starting a book. (laughs) So when you can monetize your knowledge and you can go out today on your social media and say, I am writing a book. Who wants a copy? Trust me. When you post it, you're going to be shocked at how many people say me, me, me. They don't even know. They just want to support you. And I'm going to show you, I just posted in the group chat there. Um, Those of you that are already clients, you already know the power of this. Some of you can already attest to this. I see you shaking your heads, right? You can literally start collecting pre-sales on your book. So if you want to learn how to write a book and become a best-selling author, I do have an offer for you today. And I put it in the chat. It's our author blueprint. It's an eight-week course. We're going to show you how to write your book, how to market your book, how to launch your book, how to become a bestseller. You're going to all do it yourself. Normally, you wouldn't get these kind of calls and training, but I hope that you found value here today, just this one hour with us. Imagine if you got some value from this one hour, what could you do of working with me and my team and all of us for eight weeks? Because what I'm going to do is a bonus for the next seven days only. This bonus ends on April 8th. Okay, it ends on April 8th. Then at the at that after that, you may not get the same price and you definitely won't have the free training involved. So we're going to invite you in for a free training for the next two weeks, not just these, but our private coaches training. So for eight weeks, we're going to do a challenge for you to hit a goal. So you have seven days for a financial goal that I want you to make right now. And then I want you guys, the rest of you to think of a target. Some of you are already writing a book. You're in that process. Think of a target in the next 90 days. We're just today's the first day of the next quarter. We're in second quarter. What do you want to happen this quarter? Because business people think quarterly. They don't think daily, weekly, monthly. They look at their numbers daily, but they think quarterly as far as what big thing do I want in the next 90 days? Now, if you have an income goal of 150,000 for the year, I want you to make that your income goal for the next 90 days. I just want you to put your brain there and think of that as a potential. It's possible. People have done it. Our clients have done it. I've done it. And you can do it. We're going to be here to help you, okay? So if you are if you think back about writing your book in the next eight weeks, if that's a goal that you have in this quarter, then you can do it in eight weeks. And we're going to go through week one, two, three. You're going to go through it in the course online. You're going to get all the training step-by-step that you need. And then you're going to be able to also get this free training and support from us for the next eight weeks only. Uh, so I put that link in the chat. It's 1111. It's 1,111 bucks. That's it or two payments of 650. And I'm going to show you how you can make over $1,000 in the next seven days and pay for it by simply posting that on your Facebook. You got to trust the process. And me, because I've done it hundreds of times with a lot of people. And guess what? Every single one of our authors that has come through our program and written a book with us has hit number one on the bestseller list. Every single one. We have a 100% success rate. So when you guys plan a goal, when you all look at me and say, this is my goal for seven days, 
This is my goal for the next eight weeks. And here's my goal for the second quarter. I want you to reach your goal. And we're all going to hold you accountable, which is why we have a really high success rate because there's accountability and you have the framework and you have the tools and you have the support. So I hope that's okay that I brought that out. I just wanted you to, to have an offer and an opportunity to make a little bit of extra money in the next seven days. You can do it with the book and you do it by pre-sales. So when you say, I'm writing a book, I'm doing pre-sales. My book is available for pre-sales and you set a price. Is it 20? Is it 25 bucks? Let's say it's $20, okay, 19.95 or 20 for easy math. And you just have 50 people that buy your book for 20 bucks. You know, 50 people, that's $1,000. You just paid for your entire training to be able to get your book done. Guess what? It doesn't cost anything to publish a book. It just takes your time. And we're going to show you in, inside the training, the first module, you're going to learn how to get your outline and actually figure out what you're supposed to write, who you're supposed to write it for, how much money you can make, you know, uh, what to put in your book, and even an outline in one hour. You get clarity on that. So you want to learn how to do all that? You're going to get it in the training. So if you want to make extra money and you want to have authority and you want to write a book and it could be a family recipe book, it could be a book about your, your history and your autobiography, your grandmother's story, it could be anything you want. Ideally, it'd be a nonfiction book or it could be a children's book. If it's a children's book, you're going to have to spend more money on illustrations. That's just a reality. And it takes a little longer because you got to wait for the illustrator. Just a, just a little disclaimer. But I have a lot of uh, teachers that are writing children's books on spring break right now or on the summer. Like AJ, who did really well, a retired teacher that did well with her book. So join that program. If you have questions, you can send me an email, melanie at mydefiningmoments.com. You can comment here on this page and we'll work with you. But I want you to leave, I want you to think about something. Your knowledge has value. Let's say you're an insurance agent and you're making 100,000 a year, 150,000 a year, and you've been doing it for 15, 20 years. Okay, there's a lot of new people coming into that world, getting their license that have no clue how to make that kind of money. You could write a book and teach them how to do it. You could even create a course, right? Even for $2,000 and show them how to do it. Let me take it a step further. You write a book, even if you just spend, you know, 1500 bucks or whatever, writing your book, publishing your book, learning how to do this. And guess what? You can rinse and repeat and do it over and over. But let's say you write a book and you just give away one free copy a day. And let's say you only charge $1,000 for your business, for your client, for your service. Our framework shows you, it's called the client conversion model, where 20 to 30% of the people who read your book become a client. I get calls every day from people who read one of our books that said, hey, I want to write a book. I saw you in Sadie's book, or I saw you in Sharon's book. And it's awesome. And we help a lot of people that way. And you can do it too. So if you just give away one book a day, 365 books a year. And on that model of 20 to 30%, even 30%, which is conservative, is 109 new clients at $1,000 each. That is six figures, my friends. That's if you're giving your book away for free. What if you make more than $1,000 or charge more? What if you give away three books a day or five books a day? You see how that works? And the value of that, that commodity, and guess what? Just like my dad, once you get your book up and running, and, you, and you're selling it on Amazon, it becomes a residual income that's passive income for the rest of your life and beyond. We are still buying Napoleon Hill, Think and Grow Rich. And 100 years later, Dale Carnegie books, 100 years later, we're still buying these thought leaders and their books. It will outlive all of us. It becomes our legacy. And I want to show you how to do that. And how this is just one way that you will always have money the rest of your life. If you write the book people want to read, not just the book you want to write. All right, you guys. So I will be back on Monday. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and end our live broadcast right now and go into our VIP room. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time today. We'll see you Monday. Um, that's going to be at 10 a.m. Pacific. And we're going to go live every day, weekdays. This is my only weekend just because I wanted to kick it off for y'all that, that have to work during the week. If you miss it, you can watch the replays. And if you want private coaching in the replays, you can upgrade for 30 bucks to VIP. Look for those links on the Facebook page. Thank you all so much for joining us today. We love you. We're so excited to work with you and get to know you better. So come back and join us and come share some stories in the Facebook page. Let us know what you committed to as your goal for the next seven days 
and for this next quarter. All right, take care, everyone. We'll see you on Monday. Bye, everybody.